Are you afraid you're looking at the same products as everyone else during product research? Or have you simply run out of fresh ways to look for new and interesting product ideas? Well, today, I'm excited to share with you a new and powerful method that I've been using recently to find interesting products and ideas that everyone else hasn't even thought of. Stick around. What's up, guys? Crescent here, and welcome back to my channel where I share with you the best tips and strategy videos, just like this one, on how to succeed with Amazon private labeling. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's get started. Okay, so check this out. So everyone is using the same filters and search criteria. We all know that. So how can you separate yourself from the herd and find products that no one else is seeing? Wouldn't it be cool if you could visually see a cloud of products related to a niche or even your own products that are already selling on Amazon? Wouldn't it be awesome to see a bunch of related products at a glance? Well, watch this. All right, so check it out. The website is called yaziv.com, Y-A-S-I-V.com. And what you're gonna have to do first is solve the CAPTCHA. And then make sure you change the category to all, all right? Now what you can do here is if you have a product on Amazon already, you can put in the ASIN. Otherwise, use your product's keywords for your niche. So for example, let's just do a garlic press. Now let it do its magic. Yazov is now generating a list of all the related products. Now how are these products related? These are all products found in the customers who bought this item also bought section. It's now generating a web showing the relationship between all the interlinked products from real data of items that people have actually bought together. With every item, you can see all the other items people have purchased with it. The more arrows leading to and from an item, the more different items that were purchased with it. Yazov shows you a web spreading out from one item, showing not just what the customers have bought with that item, but what other customers have bought from those resulting items as well, giving you a massive web of different items and related options. Now here's where this tool is so powerful. You can explore and browse around for product ideas that you would never have even thought of. Products that would have never come up with any filters you chose in a product database. So let's take a look and start with, for example, this, uh, let's start with this garlic press right here. Look how many arrows are leading to it. It just shows that there's so many other products that are that people are buying along with this garlic press. So what you can do is navigate around this web and see where it kind of leads you. And they're all interrelated products. So you can have confidence that these products can go well together and bundle well together, right? Like what's this? This is a, a, a potato masher and uh, a meat tenderizer. Things you would normally wouldn't think to, to bundle together, right? What's this? Uh, custard cups? Uh, like the farther you go, from your garlic press, it kind of leads farther away from that item, but still within the same niche. They're all kitchen, kitchen utensils still, right? What's this? Uh, a juicer. Uh, cake decorating tips, right? Well, a lot of interesting items here. This is a citrus uh, pour spout squeezer. Um, what's this thing? Scrappy's bitters. No idea what that is, right? It'd be interesting to look into that. And maybe that's another product idea. And uh, especially if you're expanding a brand in a niche, it gives you a whole slew of products that you could use. Let's see, what's all this stuff? This is a uh, Gorilla Grip cutting board, ut kitchen utensil sets, toasters, um, a jar, what is this, a, a lid lifter, a can opener, apple slicer, whisk, right? So I hope you see the value in this tool and how powerful it can be to help you find new and interesting ideas that no one else is seeing. What's great about this tool is that it gives you so many different opportunities that you can take advantage of. The first, probably the most obvious, is that you can find items to bundle. So think about this. If you're selling a garlic press, you can browse around and see what other items are popular and you'll know that they will bundle well with the garlic press because that's exactly what this tool is showing you. 100% directly related items. So copy and paste your product ASIN and go at it. Secondly, if you're building your brand around related products within a specific niche, you can probably already see how powerful this tool is for you. You can easily use this tool to expand your product line by finding similar and related products 
for your niche and you can retarget your existing buyers. You can find products you never would have thought of or seen in a product database search. And third, speaking of retargeting, if you're building a target audience for your existing product with Facebook ads, you can easily cherry pick the best competing products from the web as your target market. Okay, I hope we can see how useful and powerful this tool is and how many different ways it can be used to help you expand your product research. Happy hunting. If you found value in this video, please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up or share it with a friend. Remember to click that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post new content. I'd love to hear from you too, so if you have a comment or a question, post it below. And if you haven't already, join my Amazon Facebook group, there's a link in the description. And if you're looking for more tips and strategy videos, click or tap over here. And as always, thanks for watching.